Hello, welcome back to Metalhead Nation Garage. I'm Chris, your host. Hey, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I'm going to talk a bit, little bit about Iron Maiden's mascot, Eddie. You know, he's been around for 40 years now. And uh, also, uh, late last year, he uh, was rewarded a Funko Pop. So, uh, pretty impressive. Uh, and, and how he's became part of the band's uh, show through the years. They... Um, Oh, and it's a great show, too. I mean, this thing, uh, when he comes out, he comes out on several songs, you know, and through the years, he's been different. Uh, um, and and uh, Eddie, he's just become part of Iron Maiden in, in their show. But uh, it's great. I mean, you know, they uh, talk about that, you know, how he was, uh, came about and everything. It, uh, you know, it, it the relationship with Eddie to Iron Maiden, it's probably the most of any mascot in in the music business. Um, I know through the years, you know, and that's what rock, that's what metal they was really made of back in, back in the day. It became part of the show. So, you know, you go see a metal rock show, they're, they're, uh, the show was everything. The music is great, but the music went with, you know, their mascot, their light show, uh, laser shows, which which back in the day, rock and metal separated themselves from the country music biz, per se. You know, uh, country music, they just came out and or pop, you know, played, you know, sing and country, pop, they kind of, you had the dancing, Britney, what have you, and, uh, encore of dancers on stage which uh rock you didn't get that you got the band you got their light show and then you know with iron maiden you got their mascot so very cool uh with eddie making the news and everything and that'll be this episode of metalhead nation garage we'll see you next time hello welcome back to metalhead nation garage i'm chris your host hey give us a thumbs up Subscribe to the channel. Hey, we're going to talk about Obituary's new album release. It's called Dying of Everything. You, uh, you know, we're just going to talk a little bit about them. They're getting ready to go on their European tour, which they've been dying to get back over to Europe since the pandemic. Um, big death metal following over in Europe. Lots of great festivals. Uh, it's really cool. And uh, so they provided a new album because they, they don't like to tour without having uh, any new material nowadays, you know. And they've been working on, on new records for the last several out of their own studio. But they've been working on this and it was done right after, uh, around the pandemic and right after, but they uh, didn't want to put it out if they wasn't touring yet, and they wanted to wait till they went to Europe, so uh, um, so they uh, have released this to great fanfare, uh, you know, and they are, uh, you know, they're inspired by a d different uh, genre, they're, they're inspired by this southern rock uh, genre, so really surprising, <clears throat> You talk about Molly Hatchet there, Leonard Skinner, and some of some of these bands uh, growing up, Ram James, one of them, Atlantic Rhythm Section, and uh, they're inspired by that. That's how they uh, write their music, so it's uh, kind of interesting uh, on them details because their music sounds nothing like uh, Southern rock. You know, Obituary's a strong um Mu you know, musical band. They uh, have a lot of uh, rhythm songs, you know, not so much uh, uh, about the lyrics, uh, but uh, they are a, um, a great band on there. So, uh, you know, it, it is kind of funny when you hear the details. I always like the details of the music and how it's made and stuff. So, uh, again, if you haven't uh, got this album or heard it, uh, Spotify, Dying of Everything, Obituary, and leave your comments below. All comments are welcome here on uh, this channel, and that'll be this episode of Metalhead Nation Garage.